Hello and welcome to another of my After Hours discussions. This is where, after a long day of great conversations at the Power of 50, I will bring some of the key thought leaders that have been shaping those conversations just to share some extra insights with us as we wind down after a, a, a great day, really. Yeah. Um, Hans, I always do the same. I always ask my guests to introduce themselves because you'll do a better job than I. So tell the people at home who you are and where you're from. Yeah. My name is Hans Göttlinger. Um, I've been with Sidecall for six years, responsible for the DACH area at this company and a Copperberg veteran, if you like. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Um, you gave me a great summary after... I mean, obviously, Power 50, you mm. speak to 50 people, you speak to 50 industry leaders yeah. from different industries. You, you're shaping a conversation around some of the blocking issues. Talk to me about the topic first, and then I want to get a bit of a summary from you. Yeah, the topic was um, blockers and uh, accelerators mm. for shifting left user field service organization. Yeah. So basically making the field service organization more efficient in order to bridge this service gap that's opening up due to different factors, yes. like the silver tsunami and other factors. So these were our topics that we're discussing about the pros and cons, what's standing in their way and what's accelerating a change. Yeah, and, and so at the end of the, the end, end of the day, you gave us a great summary of some of these. Um, let's share some of those with the guys back home. Yeah. What were the key blockers? What are the key obstacles that are stopping people from uh, moving forward with some of these? Yeah, there's always a lot of you know technological noise uh, yeah. being reasons for, for for not changing, like you know IT security, like IT legacy systems, all these kind of things. But what distilled out of it at the end of the day is that it's actually, it's people and acceptance. It's the yeah. willingness of the organization to change. And the organization consists of people. So the key to success is people. That was the essence of our, of yes. our meetings. And, and on the other side of it, What's, what's, what's driving growth? What's, what, what are the accelerators that you, we're seeing? There's also a number of, of accelerators, the main one being the number of tickets, the number of cases that mm. a service organization has to cover. It's always increasing. Yeah. Technological factors, da-da-da, but also people, again. Yeah. I was talking about the silver tsunami, so mm. the shortage of, uh, of qualified people, people retiring at a high rate, Nobody coming afterwards to doing the same or wanting to do the same job in the same format. So how does the job has to change in order to be attractive to people? Well, yes. And this is, of course, where technology like Sitecore comes into play because we can extend that shelf life for want of a better way of phrasing it. You know, that engineer that may be hitting their, their mid-50s looking towards retirement may not want to be climbing up pylons, may not want to be c crawling in cubby holes, but actually can share their experience from a remote location. Is that something, um, I know it's uh, slightly off the conversation today, but is that something that you're seeing as a use case for your customers? Absolutely. So new people coming in are reluctant to do the job the same way that the mm. existing staff is doing it. At the same time, the existing staff is still there. Yeah. They still like the way they operate. So it became clear it's a necessity to take people along, to have a strong communication towards the existing staff to support this change. And um, I think one of the people here said it very well. He said, we have to have a mission statement, a common idea behind which everyone can, can gather mm. and be forceful and run into, row into the same direction, as we say in Germany. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one final question I've got for you, because sure. I, I think that's, that's a real... I'm almost tempted to leave that because it's a very, very good point. But there's one final question, which I always like to ask. What was the one thing that, you, that struck you that you didn't expect today from the conversations? Because it's unusual, it's, it's unusual to have so many conversations in one day, obviously not for you as a Copperberg mm -hmm. veteran, but you know, it's, it's a great opportunity yeah. to learn from the audience as well as educate. Um, what's the one thing you didn't expect that you learned today? I think the format encourages uh, an openness that mm. I'm not too used to, that I didn't expect, yeah. of very high level people who have a strategic view on things. So for us, it was extremely educational to understand our customer from that perspective. Excellent. Well, Hans, thank you ever so thank much you. for joining us. Thank you for thank joining you. me at the end, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. All right, bye.